Hello friends and welcome to my channel. This is Batel from Batel's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a really life-changing recipe, a gluten-free and vegan two-ingredient tortilla from the cookbook Eggless Possibilities. So a couple of years ago I created this cookbook which is a life-changing cookbook because when I was transitioning to eating more plant-based and more vegan diet, I found it extremely challenging and hard to find something that is also gluten-free and vegan and delicious that is presentable without compromising on the look, flavor, and all the things that come around with eating with our appetite. So it took me a couple of years until I found this really extremely unique technique how to bind anything and how to create really beautiful food that is gluten-free and vegan and the most important thing really really good for you and healthy with a cookbook eggless possibilities so today i'm going to be sharing this tortilla from this cookbook that is so so delicious it is something that i've been making for years and because this recipe is so valuable i even shared it a couple of years ago on my social media and until this day people could not stop making it so i want you to enjoy Enjoy it as well all the measurements are going to be in the description box below and I'm gonna link this cookbook here in the down bar so don't forget to check it out if you're new over here don't forget to subscribe to my channel I post a new recipe every single week okay let's get started We're gonna start by measuring our buckwheat, dry raw buckwheat, and we're gonna transfer it to a bowl. We're then gonna add a generous amount of water and make sure that the buckwheat is completely covered with the water. We're gonna let it sit for eight hours or overnight. Then before we wash it, we're gonna notice that the water is like a liquid gel. It has this really slimy consistency. We're gonna transfer it to a colander and wash it under running water until there is no more gel and the water is nice and clear. And then we're gonna transfer it to a blender cup or to a Vitamix. To that we're going to add quick oats then we're going to add our water as well we're gonna add a little pinch of salt and then we're gonna close the lid and now we're going to blend it till the consistency is very very smooth Once we have it nice and blended, we're going to transfer it to a bowl. And here is the important part. We have to let it sit between 5 and 10 minutes to allow the oats and the buckwheat to drink a little bit of the water before we make the tortillas. The next step is to really make sure that the pan is really, really, really hot. If the pan is not hot enough, the tortilla is going to stick. We're not using any oil over here. If you're afraid that your first tortilla is going to stick to your pan, feel free to use a little bit of oil spray. But these tortillas are good without oil at all, as long as that the pan is non-stick and the pan is hot enough. So what we're going to do is take our ladle and transfer it to the pen. We're then gonna go in a circular motion, just like we're spreading sauce on a pizza, and then we're gonna spread the tortilla on top of the pen. Once we have it spread, we're gonna wait for bubbles to show around the edges. We must wait for the color to change before we flip the tortilla. This is the sign that the tortilla is dry enough and not wet and ready to be flipped. And then we have all these beautiful tortillas ready to be filled out. So I just smashed some avocado over here 
and I'm going to spread it on the side of the tortilla. And then I like to add some greens. Today I'm using spinach, but you can use arugula, you can use regular lettuce, you can use some greens, whatever you love. And then we're gonna slice some tomatoes and add them as well. We're gonna top it off with a little bit of red onion for some crunch and for some flavor. And then for protein, we're gonna add some chickpeas as well. Feel free to make the tortilla as little or as big as you want. It is really up to you. And now we're gonna garnish with a little bit of cilantro and then a generous amount of salt, pepper, and a nice drizzle of olive oil as well. This beautiful tortilla is a wonderful, wonderful breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It is gluten-free. It is really, really flexible and so versatile to fill it up with whatever you want. It is portable, it holds its shape, and it is really, really, really good for you. And the best part, it is really, really easy to make. Now, if you have tortillas that you don't know what to do with them, the next day or so, I can show you a beautiful technique what to do with your leftovers. If you want, please let me know in the comments below. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. And now I hope you really enjoy this new recipe that is so easy and delicious. When I was looking for a tortilla recipe that is vegan and gluten-free, but also really, really healthy and delicious, I found it a little bit complicated and I really didn't know how to use all these different ingredients that were kind of like new to my kitchen. But this recipe specifically is so good for you. Buckwheat has tremendous health benefits. It has iron, it has fiber, it has everything that you need in order to sustain a really healthy lifestyle. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.